All right, our domain model is pretty simple at the moment. So I want to add a bit of complexity to it to make it more real world. In the customer class, I want to introduce a couple new properties. It's subscribed to newsletter and membership type. So I'm going to make up a business rule here. You can have a few membership types like pay as you go, monthly, quarterly, and annual. Customers who like to be on pay as you go membership don't have to pay any fees to sign up. When they rent a movie, they will be charged per night based on the rental fee of each movie. But if they choose to sign up on a monthly, quarterly, or an annual plan, they will have to pay some upfront fee, but with this, they will get a discount when they rent movies. To model this, we need a new class called membership type with properties like sign up fee, duration, and discount rate. Each customer should have one and only one membership type. Now, when it comes to implementing this using the code first workflow, instead of making all these changes in one go like Big Bang, we should make small changes, create a migration, and run it on the database. With a Big Bang migration, you increase the risk of things going wrong. And that's one of the reasons many developers who try code first workflow fail. You should treat these migrations like your source code repository. You make small changes to the code and commit it to the repository. This allows you to better version your code. The same principle applies with migrations. So now in models folder, I'm going to open up customer, add a new property, bull is subscribed to newsletter. Now I want to create a migration. So back in package manager console, add migration. We give it a name. Add is subscribed to customer. See, with a small change, we can easily name a migration. But if you combine multiple changes, naming the migration will be difficult. Okay, migration created, update database. Beautiful, no errors because I worked on a small migration. Now the second change. So in Solution Explorer, right click models, we add a new class, membership type. So here we need a few properties, sign up fee, duration and discount rate. For sign up fee, I'm going to use short because we don't need any values more than 32,000. So prop short sign up fee. For duration, let's use byte because the largest number we want to store is 12 for 12 months. So byte duration. Now the problem with this name is that it doesn't tell me whether this is in days, months, years. So let's change this to duration in months. That's more specific. For discount rate, let's use byte again because this is going to be a percentage between zero and hundred. Discount rate. Now in entity framework, every entity must have a key which will be mapped to the primary key of the corresponding table in the database. By convention, this property should be called either ID or the name of the type plus ID. So let's create a new property, prop byte. Again, I'm using byte because we have only a few membership types. And call this ID. So this is our membership type. Now we need to associate our customer class with membership type. So back to customer class, I'm going to add a new property membership type and just call it membership type. This is what we call a navigation property because it allows us to navigate from one type to another. In this case, from customer to its membership type. These navigation properties are useful when we want to load an object and its related objects together from the database. For example, we can load the customer and its membership type together. You will see that later in this section. Now, sometimes for optimization, we don't want to load the entire membership object. We may only need the foreign key. So we can add another property here, byte. And by convention, we're going to call it membership type ID. So entity framework recognizes this convention 
and treats this property as a foreign key. Okay, our domain is updated. Now we need to add a migration. So back to package manager console. Let's clean this up, CLS, add migration. Let's give it a name, add membership type. Okay, now update database. Beautiful. 